Hey guys, so today's video is going to be very short because everything that you need is already in your Google Slides presentation. Um, I just kind of wanted to introduce what you're going to be doing for today's lesson. So um, we're going to be talking about symbolism today, um, symbols. And this is something that we've talked about uh, before, but it is a challenging concept and you've got it. Okay, we have faith in you 100%. So you're starting off uh, for your do now with a, a simple question. Um, what ideas or emotions do you associate with the American flag? So when you think about the American flag, what emotions, feelings, thoughts come to mind? So that's your do now. Um, and like I said, we're talking about symbolism in visual text. We're going to be looking at uh, the same movie that we've been analyzing. So uh, looking for symbolism in a film scene and analyzing the symbolism to find a theme that's in the text. Okay. So um, you'll notice that at the top of almost all of the Google Slides, um, there is a video that will read the slide for you and explain the notes. Um, so I'm not going to do that because it's already done. Um, all you have to do is listen to the video as you go through your Google Slides. Um, so it's going to talk about what is symbolism. It's going to talk about um, why do we use symbolism? What's the purpose of that? It's going to explain your first assignment, which um, is just to show us a symbol. That could be something that you draw or something that you find on the Internet. Just make sure that it's 100 percent appropriate. Um, and then explain the symbol that you chose. Okay, and again, that's all explained on the slide. Um, and then it talks about theme because you're going to be using the symbols that you find in your independent practice to explain a life lesson that you learn, um, a theme that you learn. So this clip um, is the guided practice video, and then this slide explains how the guided practice is done. Again, the audio is already there. Ms. Quintanilla already recorded it for you, so you can listen to the answers uh, being explained on this slide. And then finally, you'll be doing the exact same thing that Ms. Quintanilla explained um, with these two videos in the independent practice. So you'll be answering these four questions, which again, you can listen to these questions read out loud for you on the slide itself. So if you have questions, come join us um, in office hours or send us an email, um, but otherwise you totally got this and we look forward to seeing your answers. Good luck guys.